We're here at Claremont, uh, all the good and the great in tourism are here today uh, as the awards have been handed out for another year. Jeff Corkish, Responsibility for Tourism. What's the standard like? Standard grows every year. This is the seventh year that we've held these awards, held to recognise the fantastic achievements that uh, come forward from the tourism industry. And every year the adjudicators, and remember this is a public vote, it's the public that votes on this, and an independent panel of adjudicators headed this year by His Worship the Mayor of Douglas, um, actually sift out tremendous feedback that we have on this. And it also illustrates, I hope, the importance of tourism in the infrastructure of the Isle of Man. Because so much that tourism does, as has been celebrated here this afternoon, underpins what we have here, certainly the quality of life in the Isle of Man. So today has been a, a great celebration, a great feeling within the hall here of everybody there, not competitive as such, but people all in the same field wishing to promote as best they can the tourism facility that they, that they give. Well, Angela Burns has already indicated that the figures have looked quite good for this year. Are you resting your laurels, or what's the plan for next year? Are these visitors coming to the Isle of Man? We can certainly justify 4.2% increase on visitors this year. Now, that's, that's tremendous. Now, that's very easy to hear. What's that breakdown in numbers, though? Bad news. That's about 288, just under 300,000 people. Right. Now, um, a lot of people... You know, a lot of bad news on Ireland, more off Ireland, I'm glad to say. Um, this is tremendous. This is, this is proof positive that tourism is alive, that tourism is a well, and tourism is very much a part of what the Isle of Man is. And, and, and our task, the, the judge's task, the department's task, my task, is made so much easier by the, the passion, the enthusiasm, uh, the drive that these people have for their own industry, uh, wanting to provide the very best that they can, not only to the visitor who comes here throughout the year, but also to the residents of the Isle of Man who use the facilities. And it just illustrates again just how important tourism, tourism is about us all the time. It's been here for a long, long time and is very much a part of the island. I mean, you get people here, then they have things to do, right? And this is where it's been interesting. We, we've seen the launch of Segways, the sort of trike tours who won again this year. They did, and they did. Coming up, Steve Salter's thing, the, the ape pl place down yes, at... Uh, yes, Adventure Playground yes. out there. Do you think that's where we're going? Uh, well, 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 but the, 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 doesn't that illustrate... Um, we have a queue of people wanting to be accredited to get into the tourism scene, and that's a great uh, a vote of confidence in tourism on the Isle of Man. And here again today, you'll have noticed um, people who have won again, people who have won in the past didn't get this because they've been pushed out by other people who are in again. So uh, the awards drive up that um, uh, standard that is so important, not only to me and you as the end user, but also the people who are driving, who have at heart their business, their heart and soul is in it, a tremendous investment in it.